Okay, before we proceed to the saw cutting operation, we have to define the saw. From the machine tab, select define tool, and here select saw. As the tool number enter 17, offset number also 17, diameter 150, with 3.2, corner radius 0, max depth for example 30, ok, fixed fit 500, and spindle speed 5000. Let's add a simple holder, click the simulation button, and holder simulation simple length 60, diameter 40, ok, and save this tool as so 150, ok. Let's select this tool. OK, and now let's extract the geometry to the saw cutting. This is geometry from automatic extraction, but it is extracted as a pocket, but we need the geometry edge for sewing. Let's delete these geometries. This one Okay, and this one. Okay, and now let's use from the solid model extract tab edge for sewing and select this edge, accept selection, and select this edge again, edge for sewing, this edge, and accept the selection. Okay. And now from the machine tab select sewing operation. Okay. In the types tab in the Z level section we have two options. The manual option is a kind of vertical option mm, from pocketing or upper finish operation. And choosing this option we have to specify the upper and lower cutting levels and by selecting auto option these levels will be read from the geometry. This is equivalent to the auto Z option for machining contours and due to the fact that we have Z levels on geometries select this option. In geometry section select the selected option it means we will indicate the geometry to cut ourselves. In the general tab we have sections responsible for machining internal corners, external corners and open ends. Internal corners it means uh, how we machine inside closed geometry, for example inside a rectangle. External corners option we will use when for example we machine outside geometry, for example outside a rectangle and open ends option we can use when uh, for example we machine lines such as in our example this is an open ends okay in each of this section we can choose one of three options cut to, cut on, and cut past. And for now, leave default option, but this is the open end section and we will use this section for machining our geometries. Okay. In the head position, we can choose left or right. This is the site on which the holder will be during the machining. Leave for now left option. 
Okay, go to the levels and cut stuff. Okay, a safe rapid distance. Type in here 25, fit down distance 5. Z stock amount. This is an allowance in the axis. Leave 0 and depth of cut also leave 0. And interesting option is the scratch cut. And I will show you how it works in a moment. For now, let's click OK and select the geometries that we recognized as edge for so cutting. Accept the selection and OK. OK, this is the first option from this section open ends. This is cut to. I set the side view and now I will show you how this option works. Let's run a simulation. Run in a single step mode. Okay, we have the cut to option selected. And this option cause that the saw edge start cutting at the beginning of the geometry and only the saw edge will reach to the end of the geometry. We will not receive through cut. Okay, let's turn off the simulation and edit the saw cutting operation. And now select option cut on. Click OK. And again run the simulation. And here we see that the saw center is at the beginning of the contour. And the saw center is at the end of the contour. So here we already get through cut and edit the operation again. Select cut past option, click OK, OK, and run simulation. And here you can see that before machining, the whole saw is out of the geometry. And after the machining, the whole saw is also out of geometry. This option also has the distance parameter. Let's set the operation here and let's enter here, for example, 50 millimeters. Here we can specify the extent distance. Okay. Okay, this is the place where machining starts. The whole tool is outside the workpiece and after the machining also the whole tool is outside the workpiece. Okay. Let's set the material. Select the geometry, okay. And now let's run the solid simulation. Okay, and let's check the scratch option. Levels and cut stop, select perform. Scratch cut, scratch depth set for example 1. And here we can specify the direction of cutting the scratch. We can select the same direction as first cut or opposite to the first cut. 
for now let's leave this option same direction as first cut click ok ok and run the simulation select the solid simulation and first we get a scratch and after that we get a sewing on the 5 millimeters depth okay